You're so rude, buddy. Just, like, chill. Oh, wow. That was surprising. Just coming out of the shrubs there. <laughs> hmm. Present in body, but not in mind. <laughs> I stayed still for too long, and he just says this to me. Hey, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Pokemon Ranger. Last time, we rescued a, uh... What did we rescue? It was, what was it? It was, it was a, a Jigglypuff. We also made it here into the depths of the forest to rescue Gordor, this grumpy, mumbling old man. And to continue on our quest today, we are gonna get him out of this forest by capturing a Quillava. Quillava does this weird explosion thing. It's actually really easy to catch him because he doesn't have a lot of range. Um, he does run fairly fast after he, uh, he attacks though. Oops. And then he runs quickly after he breaks your ring as well. He's a bit too far away there. You know what? I'm just going to use, like, Cyndaquil. Even though it's it's not going to be very effective on him. I'm just, I need to get rid of Cyndaquil anyway. So wait, can we get him to run into that? We can, there we go. Oh, except it doesn't really do much. Whoa! Okay, that was a, that was a very big eruption there from Quillava. Let's just, let's just catch this guy. Are you actually going to get caught now? No, you know what? You know what? I know he has a bit of a cooldown after that attack, so we'll just we'll just catch him after the attack. There we go. All right, capture complete. So maybe after a couple of times, he um he does that big eruption instead. Hmm, not too shabby. From what I understand, that device 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 <laughs> styler was it is not something that anyone can use. For a capture to succeed, the ranger using the styler must have the spirit of justice. Was it? Whoa, ah, 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 ah. But, Dazza, was it? What exactly is the spirit of justice? Or indeed, what is justice? Who is to say what is considered justice now will be the justice of tomorrow? <laughs> Perhaps that was too difficult for a child like you to grasp. That is actually very true. I, I, I guess, anyway. Hey, it's a Murkrow. That Murkrow, does it there mock me for losing my bearings in the forest? Maybe. Grr, you Murkrow, how dare you heckle me? I won't take your insolence! You, 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 useless, contrary, meaningless, crass, bombastic, buffoon of a murkrow. It's gone now, buddy. It appears that crass got to that insolent bird. The whole exchange has given me heartburn. Get me out of this confounded forest immediately. Uh, so we'll see here this log, which we need a two icon type fire power move thing. And luckily the guilava, which we happened to catch just there has enough power to burn the log. Handy dandy, right? Full log was burned till there was nothing left. Thank you, Quilava. Oh, impressive. Perhaps your talents are somewhat wasted escorting this old man. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Anyway, let's head north out of this section. And we'll find a Pikachu there, which is fun. Oh, this sign. Oh, okay, let's just tap it. Beware of mischief, mischievous Beedrill. If one attacks, don't stop. Run. It will chase you relentlessly. Yeah, you really can't get through here without having a Beedrill attack you. Or several. Um, they're just ridiculously fast, and there's so many there. Luckily, they're actually quite easy to catch. Like so. Uh, we don't actually need to keep them, but I will catch them nevertheless. Actually, we only need one, so there we go. Okay, Beedrill's data was added. Let's run away while we still can. There we go. Ignore the Beedrills. Alright, here we go. The next section. We have some Hopip here. A beautiful... Actually, I don't think we've caught a Hopip yet. Yep. <laughs> yet. So we'll do that quickly. Uh, I believe we can use Beedrill here, who has uh, the Poison Poke Assist. Um, and that will be super effective against Hoppip. Not that Hoppip are difficult to catch anyway, they just bounce a lot, so they're quite easy to catch. However, it does get rid of Beedrill and allows us to add Hoppip to our party, who we have not caught yet. So at the top of this area, you will see that there is a grass bush we can get into, but we can't get into there without a Pokemon first. Uh, Cyndaquil will ignore you. Okay, here we go. That's the Murkrow again. Stop co coring or whatever it is. Is that the heckling Murkrow? Being called a buffoon must have stung. Mm hmm. Okay, Labyrinth Growth. The scenery is confusingly similar. There are other signs like this too. Yeah, if you do not go the correct way, as with many Labyrinth style games, 
um, actually, you know what, this is an Inkata, we need one of these, um, then it will just basically duplicate the last or the first area. So it just sends you back, basically. Ninkata, kind of like Diglett, I guess. You can catch them pretty easily, I suppose, but you can keep your capture line held down while they, uh, uh, not swim, um, dig away. However, we need one. Uh, I am going to have to release a Pokemon, so I think I'm going to release Weeping Bell and Hopip there. Uh, yeah, probably best idea. All right, so now let's head down again, and I'll show you that this is the wrong way. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. How about that? I was right, wasn't I? I was right in being wrong. Did we not pass this spot earlier? Dazzle, was it? Surely you're not suggesting that you've lost your way. Aren't you rangers training for this sort of thing? Do something useful. I will do something useful. I'm going to turn back and leave you where I found you. Now I'm going to turn back, and now that we have Ninkada, we can actually cut down this bush here. Ninkada, whatever you want to call it. There we go, chop it down, and in here we will find um, quite a strong Pokemon. Um, it's relatively easy to catch though, so in we go, and we will see we have Venusaur. Oh yes. So Venusaur is actually quite easy to catch. It will do its uh, seed thing and make like the tree grow, uh, but it moves really slowly. So, as long as you can draw your loops around it, and you can go quite slow here, it will be fine. You can just dodge all of its um, things, get some bonus points there, and it's actually really easy to catch Venusaur. As long as you make a loop, it doesn't necessarily have to be around the Pokemon. It, um, your, your capture line will disappear for the loop. Alright, and our style leveled up as well. Very cool. Fully heal us, and we have a Venusaur with a very strong grass type um, move, which we can use to help us uh, later on if we need it. All right, so the correct way to go. It's quite easy to remember. You go down first, and then you just keep alternating. So we'll run into the Ninkada again. Both of them are back here, which is fine. Go up this time, and you will see a Tailo. I believe a Swallow as well. Yeah, which is going to attack us. Yippee. <laughs> All right, let's just draw a single loop around it and run away because we don't want to deal with that. We'll go down again. And we should have made it. Mm-hmm. Here we are. It's that Murkrow again. It's just... <laughs> it's just running around in circles. Like That red Murkrow again, it bears a grudge badly. Impressive. What is this dark haze? Why does it cling so? Get me out of this dank misery of a forest at once. Jeez. Okay, so in order to get the Murkrow down... Wait, can we not go this way? Oh, yes, I remember now. <laughs> oh. Alright, so the Murkrow is messing with us here. The exact same cutscene as before. What is this? We've returned to the same spot, and that Murkrow, here it cackle at us ominously. You're a ranger, do something about that wretched thing. I'll do what any ranger can do about a Pokemon, I can capture it. So, let's grab ourselves a Fampy, because we'll need it to knock it out of the tree. Fampy is pretty easy to capture here. There we go, don't need to do anything special, just a couple of loops, and it is ours. Alright, Fampy, knock that tree down please, or at least just shake it. Victory is teetering back and forth. Thank you, Fampy, indeed. And there is Murkrow. Is that that theme that goes along with it? What the? It dares him to impede us? Well, what are you waiting for? That's your cue. Capture that irksome Murkrow already. I will, just as soon as that Fampy moves out of the way, because I don't want to deal with more Pokemon than we're about to. Yeah, because the Murkrow summons all of these stinking Spinarak. Okay, so... On their own... Oh, I didn't mean to use Pichu there. On their own, this can be quite tricky. Um, but just use your Poke Assist that you have with you, and you can try and catch the Spinarak one at a time. Um, oh, you see? You see, I messed that up. You really only get, like, one chance. So the Murkrow will keep attacking. Um, ignore the, the, the clouds. Uh, just try and spot your time, really to capture one Spinarak at a time and, and sort of just make it a little bit easier on yourself. 
You can even use the spin rack if you want to try and um, help capture the Murkrow, but it's really not going to help. You can always use the trick which I said before about like drawing a circle around a certain Pokemon that you want to keep still. Oops, while you try and capture the rest. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is trickier than I thought. Okay, uh, try and get one on its own. Those two are attacking that one. Dang it, okay. There we go. Oh, that wasn't really what I wanted to do. I want to stop the Murkrow from attacking. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I nearly got two of them and one there. Okay. Okay, just sort of waiting here. You know what, I'm just going to use mine in whenever I can, because at least by paralyzing them, I can maybe focus on catching at least one at a time. There we go. It's interesting, though, that the Murkrow, even though... Um, even though this charge is super effective against Murkrow, um, it actually snapped out of the paralysis quicker than the spin rack did. Okay, that was a bad one. Okay, I'm trying to catch up with this. You know what? Oh, I thought I drew a circle around you. Clearly I didn't. If I can just draw like a single circle around those two. Oh, no, I thought I had it there. Oops, that hurt. Okay, accidentally using P2 wasn't helpful, was it? I missed again. It's a good thing that, like, drawing your line into another Pokemon doesn't damage it. Okay. Dang it. Just drawing it into its attacks hurts it. Okay. Okay, there's another spin rack, finally. Okay. One spin rack, one muck right to go. There we go. Much more manageable now. So, Murkrow, I guess what we could do now is just paralyze it, and we should be good to go. As long as it stays oh, right in the middle. How about that? I also noticed that um, it wasn't super effective there. Is Murkrow just the dark type? I thought it was dark flying. I, I may have that wrong. All right. <laughs> Murkrow's data was added. That took longer than I had hoped. That dark haze lifted upon your capturing that Murkrow. Was it creating that haze? Well, yeah. But it annoys me to no end to be toyed with by such a wretch. Enough, release the vile thing. Bye bye, friends. <laughs> oh, how much of a time must you waste? Get me out of this forest once and for all. You're so rude, buddy. Just, like, chill. Oh, wow. That was surprising. Just coming out of the shrubs there. <laughs> Why did we come out there? Hmm. That was a Go Rock squad. I've heard they are roundly rev uh, reviled and ridiculed as wrongdoers. However, how much of that reputation is fair or warranted? Perhaps they are merely and grossly misunderstood. Why, they may even be more useful than some worthless ranger who can barely manage a simple task of a guide. Well, that's rude. I just got you out of there, didn't you? Or didn't I? Ah, I see where we are. I can manage my own from here. I should say that you were successful, for what it's worth. I enjoyed our brief time together, you Union Ranger. Foo foo foo, foo foo foo, foo ha 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 ha. Because that's not an evil laugh, is it? And you also said it before you actually laughed. Alright, mission clear. Fantastic. We're going to receive a text on our super styler, or... Oh, it's it's you. And stop for ha 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 -ing. Uh, was that old gent the one that requested the mission? He sure came across high and mighty. For ha 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 ha, that's some laugh. You damn straight. Hey, hey Dazza, I just finished my mission too. Uh, it sure was worthwhile doing. Do you want to hear about it? Do you just shrug? <laughs> no, well you didn't say anything. Well, alright, I guess I'll tell you. It was a big mission too. I don't usually get to do anything important, but this one was. I went with Arya into the caves and the other places to get the, the trail of the Go Rock squad. You know how Arya can be really moody? That really made the mission that much harder. Are you tired? Want to go back? Yeah, tell me on the way, buddy. And you know what? I will actually save here. <gasps> Shock horror, right? <laughs> okay, obviously we're going to talk to um, Spencer. Probably Spencer first. And then, probably call it quits here. So, first of all, hello. Uh, the lost senior citizen may have been somewhat eccentric, but he must have felt scared and lonely. Seeing you must have been a great relief to him in that dark, forbidding forest. I've also done, uh, you've also done well to put up with his ungrateful attitude. All in all, an excellent job. As I hereby certify you as Ranger Rank 7. Oh boy, seven shiny stars, and of course the all-important confetti. I do like getting a new rank every two episodes. All right, there we go. You can now use Dark Poke Assists, fantastic, and Ghost-type Pokemon Assists. Great. Another thing, Dazza, you are now authorized to be accompanied by up to six friend Pokemon in addition to your partner. 
ba ba da ba 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 Awesome. Alright, there we go. There's one last thing. Dazzle, you're now authorized to operate your Stider with a four-segment partner gauge. Okay, even more powerful minor partner gauge was extended to four segments. Is that it? No? But what was that senior citizen doing when no one else uh, when no one else would dare to go? There's something not quite right. Stider receives a text message from Cameron. Thanks for helping Percy out with that polytoad rescue. If you're not on any important mission, can you come back to Summerland's ranger base? I've got something for you. It's something really awesome, so you can look forward to it. Seriously. What's that? You got a message from Cameron, and he wants you to visit him in Summerland? How did you know? I didn't even tell you. Alright, this might actually be a good opportunity. Dazza, since you've gone up in rank, I'm going to authorize you to the use of the Dragonite bus. Oh, yes. Come upstairs, Dazza. Oh boy. And we're not going to do that straight away though. We're going to call it quits there guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Pokemon Ranger. Join me next time as we use the Dragonite bus to get to Summerland. Alright, thanks once again. See you later. Bye bye.